welcome everyone. Wow. We are so excited to see family, friends, and neighbors here today. And what a day. We couldn't have imagined that we would get such sunny, well, it was sunny up until a few seconds ago, weather in February. Luck was on our side. <laughs> it has truly been a long and hard winter, but there are glimpses of spring and for better days ahead. Lunar New Year is all about family, friends, food, and renewal. We like to joke it's like Thanksgiving and Christmas rolled into one with fireworks to boot. Sadly, no pyrotechnics for us today, fire hazard and all. We gather to be together, pay respect to our elders and ancestors, give each other blessings for the new year, and to eat. No Asian holiday is complete without all sorts of delicious foods. We are here to celebrate, to be able to laugh, to eat, to share and enjoy ourselves, to celebrate the passage of the AAPI curriculum bill that Governor Murphy signed into law just weeks ago. This bill mandates that Asian American studies be taught as part of the K-12 curriculum in all of New Jersey public schools. This is huge and so important for all of our children. Thank you, Raj Bath. Outreach aid for Governor Murphy for bringing the governor's proclamation today. We also want to give a shout out to Mayor Spiller and our town, Montclair Town Council members for joining us and for members of our Board of Education. We also want to celebrate the life of Kaya Jung Anderson, a bright light who left us too soon. <laughs> Her parents, Susan and Jason Anderson, created the Kaya Jung Scholarship Fund in her memory to honor her legacy of bringing people together and creating joy and comfort in their lives by supporting Montclair High School seniors who exemplify her spirit of compassion, curiosity, and courage. Kaya's Girl Scout troop friends are here today volunteering their time and efforts as is one of her teachers. A portion of our proceeds today will be donated to the Kaya Jung Anderson Scholarship Fund. And you can also stop by our info table to, um, for the link to make direct donations. Kaya, you are a part of this community. Thank you, Montclair Art Museum, for a beautiful partnership and collaboration that makes these celebrations possible. We have amazing performers, our very own Montclair Mandarin program students, local vendors, and delicious food here today. So please enjoy and celebrate. And to kick off our celebration, we have the Chinese Lion Dance, performed by the Wushu Kung Fu Fitness Center. The Lion Dance is performed at festivals to bring good fortune, prosperity, and good luck for the coming year and to chase away evil spirits. Take it away.
were they? Thank you, Lionhead Dancers. Another round of applause for them. Today, it's my great honor to introduce Congressman Andrew Kim of New Jersey's 3rd Congressional District. The child of Korean immigrants, a Rhodes Scholar, he could have taken the easy route and become a doctor or a lawyer, but instead he chose public service. Many of you have seen the pictures of Congressman Kim cleaning up the Capitol Rotunda on January 6th, but that was just one moment of decency in a life of integrity, civility, and dedication. He started as a public servant at USAID, the Pentagon, the State Department, the White House National Security Council, and in Afghanistan as advisor to Generals Petraeus and Allen, before becoming the first Asian American US representative in New Jersey. Now, he's encouraging other Asian Americans to imagine themselves in elected office as well and do the hard work that will lead us into a future where our growing numbers are not only counted, but heard and represented in all our diversity from local school boards to Capitol Hill. Congressman Kim, we are so happy you and your family could make it here today and for our own children to see you. Everyone, please join me in welcoming Congressman Andy Kim to Montclair. Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Happy Lunar New Year, everyone. The sun's coming out. You want, you want to get down here? <laughs> no? But, um, I'm glad that my family was able to join me here uh, to be with all of you today. Uh, it is, I have to say, a moment for us to take a step back, for us to reflect upon the year that was and the year that will. And what I'll tell you is, look, when we look back on where things were last Lunar New Year, and all that's happened over this last year, it's been a challenging one. It's been one that's pushed our families, pushed our communities. I know the Asian American community, the AAPI community, we've gone through a lot over the last year. And we've had a lot of challenges when it comes to the discrimination, some of the violence out there, and fear about what comes next and what's gonna be the future for my baby boys, your kids, and your grandkids. But what we recognize is that when we come together and we have that community, that is something worth fighting for. And in here in New Jersey, this has been a place, one of the strongest API communities in the entire country. And we're proud to see that growth, we're proud to see that strength at every corner of this state. You know, for me, For me, this past year, and for my family, this has been 50 years since my family came to the United States. 50 years since my parents immigrated here, not knowing a single person in this entire continent. And I think about that, and I think about what kind of grit they had, what kind of determination that they had, and what it means for them to have that kind of courage to be able to come to this country and when I asked my parents, why did you do it? Why did you come to this land where everyone was a stranger? Why did you put yourself through that hardship? And what they said was very quickly, they didn't have to even think about it. They said, I came here because I knew that here in America, we could provide you and your sister a better life, a life of greater opportunities and livelihood than what we had growing up. That was the promise of America for them. And I think about that a lot because I think about what New Jersey gave to us. You know, for me, I have the great honor to be able to represent in Congress the district where I went to kindergarten, where my, where my oldest son over there went to kindergarten last year. And I think about this as someone who went through the entire K through 12, the public school systems of New Jersey, 
which allowed me to then become a Rhodes Scholar and then a United States diplomat, and then now again being able to serve in Congress in this community. Those are the opportunities that I think were ones that my parents were hoping for, thinking through what it is that would be possible for me. And now as a father, I think about the same thing for my kids, and I'm sure all of you are as well. What is possible? So with that note, I want us to not just look back, but look forward. Look forward to next year when we gather together, again to celebrate Lunar New Year. And I hope that when you think about that right now, I hope that you are being hopeful about what will come next. I know we still got some challenges that we're working through, but when we do it together, we have that strength. And I think it's only fitting that this is the year of the tiger, a year of courage, a year of bravery, a year of strength, but a year that we recognize we can't do it alone and we need to make sure we're doing it together for all of us. So thank you again for letting me be a part of this and I'm so grateful to be able to celebrate with you all today. Thank you. No, no. Thank you, Congressman Andy Kim. You're an inspiration, and we're so happy to celebrate Lunar New Year with you. All right, up next is the Wushu Kung Fu Fitness Studio Martial Arts Demonstration. Chinese martial arts, also known as Wushu or Kung Fu, has a 4,000-year-old history and consists of many fighting styles. Please welcome the martial arts team from Wushu Kung Fu Fitness.
Hello? That was fantastic. Thank you so much. Another round of applause for the martial arts demonstration team. Thank you. Uh, I have a quick announcement. Anyone who's parked on South Mountain, uh, blocking any driveway or parked illegally, you will be towed. The police are coming. Um, so please, if you are, go, go move your cars. Thank you. And now I'm delighted to introduce Raj Bath, an outreach aide for Governor Phil Murphy and a wonderful advocate for the AAPI community in New Jersey. Governor Murphy's signature just made New Jersey the second state in the nation to fight anti-Asian racism at its roots by requiring AAPI history and contributions to be taught in our public schools. Generational change that so many of us here work towards for many months. Raj is here to read a proclamation on behalf of the governor. Take it away, Raj. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, Montclair. Um, my name is Raj Bath, aide to Governor Murphy, do API outreach throughout the state. Uh, before I start, I just want to say wow, a phenomenal job to uh, the young performers uh, from like we did the lion dance and then the uh, the martial arts performance. Uh, if only I could go back in time and be just as half as good as you are, uh, I think my mom and dad would definitely be proud of me. Um, but on behalf of Governor Murphy, just wanted to wish each and every one of you a happy Lunar New Year, um, wishing each and every one of you uh, prosperity, good health uh, as we move forward. Congressman Andy Kim, my congressman down in South Jersey, gave a phenomenal speech, so I'm not going to take too much away, but I totally echo uh, his story of the journey, not only that his family had as it came over to America, but how each and every one of us has a similar story to share as well as to express, and it's, it's always great to be amongst our, um, not just our most diverse community in the great uh, city of Montclair, but also the beautiful AAPI family. So I'm going to leave it there. I do have a proclamation from the governor in celebration of Lunar New Year. Um, I won't read all of it because I feel like I'll be here all day and I'm definitely not trying to take away from the other performances, uh, but I'll make sure to share it with uh, the great mayor, uh, council, as well as the other organizers. Thank you to AAPI Montclair for the work that you did on pushing forward uh, the AAPI curriculum education bill uh, through the legislature. We were more than happy uh, to sign it the moment it hit our desk, but the work could not have been done without great leaders such as yourself. Um, Amber, I know you're out there. I feel like I lost you in the crowd. Jeffrey, thank you for everything, and uh, enjoy everyone. Thank you. Mayor. Thanks, Raj. Uh, well, Good afternoon, everyone. Good morning. I want to say also just a happy Lunar New Year, first and foremost. I'm Mayor Sean Spiller. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you to hear Montclair on behalf of certainly Councilman Russo, who's here. I know Councilwoman Price Abrams, Councilwoman Schlager, who's also here as well. And certainly on behalf of all of us, it was uh, really important, I think, for me to hear when we heard from the Congressman uh, and his story uh, about that journey. And, and certainly myself, my, my mother from Jamaica, my dad from New Zealand, coming to this country with a similar story, looking just for a place where they could have a better life for me. I think that resonates with all of us. That's what the American dream is all about. But we also know and we've seen that we are coming through difficult times. Yes, around the pandemic, yes, around the challenges we face, but also coming to terms with our democracy, coming to terms with what we stand for, and coming to terms with the fact that we are stronger because of our diversity. And I can think of no better place than Montclair to celebrate the steps forward that we're seeing, whether it be in education, with the curriculum changes as we've noted, where we finally recognize and celebrate that diversity and teach our true history and what that means, and understanding that communities like this are the model for how strong we can be when we do lift every voice, when we do celebrate our differences and understand that that is the core of our strength. So I welcome you to Montclair. I thank you for being here. I love the celebration. I know we're all enjoying it. And thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mayor Spiller. And now, short intermission.
We wanted to take a moment to uh, especially honor Dr. Vicki Chang, who has been there since the beginning of the Mandarin program in our district 14 years ago, helping it to grow into the vibrant kindergarten through 12th grade program it is today. She has dedicated herself to sharing the language and culture, reaching our heads and hearts. Her efforts extend beyond her classroom into the community through programming, collaborations with a Montclair Public Library since 2010, and with us at AAPI Montclair today. She continuously champions the belief that every culture is special, every culture can be learned and shared. We are the Glenfield Middle School Mandarin students, and we will be reciting Jing Yan Si, which is one of the most famous Chinese poems. Jing Yan Si, Thoughts on a Still Night. Chuang Chen Ming Yue Guang. Before my bed, the moon was shining bright. Yi Shi Di Shang Shuang. I took it for frost on the ground. Ju To Wang Ming Yue. I lifted up my head and looked at the bright moon. I lowered my head and thought of home. Everyone again, um, please welcome Nishuin Elementary School students to perform the mini Tai Chi number Kung Fu. Enjoy.
for the Happy New Year song. We will sing the song first, then invite you all to sing the song again in the second time. This is the translation of it. The new year is here, the new year is here. Put on the new clothes and hats. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Public School Mandarin program for the wonderful performances today and to their wonderful teachers for guiding them. We'd like to acknowledge all of the Mandarin teachers throughout our district. Mrs. Sally Lin and Mrs. Carol Ye at Nishuain. Mrs. Zhu Zhan Li at Hillside. Mrs. Pei Chin Yu at Glenfield Middle School who has also provided students beautiful, informative poster projects on display inside Lear Hall. 
Mr. Uh, Lee He Ting Yang at Montclair High School, whose students are leading crafts inside at Lear Hall, even though through the earlier early arrival of his lucky baby tiger has kept him away today. And of course, Dr. Vicky Chang, the district's interim supervisor of world languages and former Nishuang teacher for 14 years. Each has shown a dedication to not only teaching the Mandarin language to their students, but also to sharing the Chinese culture with our larger community. Their commitment and enthusiasm to volunteer to be here today is heartwarming. Thank you. Thank you.
much for a beautiful, beautiful performance. Oh, wow. Um, we have something very special for our last performance today. The Junior Bees are the team competing company for the Hive Dance Studio, and they are here, and they are ready to dance. Warm welcome for them, please. I'm a young man, get that what I came for. Cause I work hard, I got everything I pray for. Money came fast, so now I take my day slow. Me and Cray just like MJG and A ball. I just bought the flowers on a weekday. Baby, why would I see you my cheat day? You a treat, you a snack. Fighting with your jeans, cause you got it like that. Well, okay, tell me what y'all fake. Mad about the date, now I'm great. Cause I remember when I ain't have a way. On a date, only had enough to pay for matinee. Now I'm straight, every morning feeling like a Saturday. Well, um, they doing nothing, got a lot to say. How you never had COVID, you still got no taste. So, girl, I used to date, she pretend we was friends. She like, OMG, you know it's been a man. Tell me where you been, huh? Been about it, hey. Back up off me, man, it's getting crowded. Hey, hey. When I'm in Cali, got it in and out of it. Oh, lot of goofies in the spot, so I'm dipping out of it. Adios. In the gym, getting violent. Mm. At the party, won't bother anybody. Always kept it solid. You know, I always kept it solid. Riding through the city in the place I dwell. We just two young fellas in the ATL. We don't. Never cause trouble when we out in the streets, but then... <laughs> That's the sound of the police. I was shook. He was shook. But I kept it cool. Pulled us over on his shoulder just to say he dug the tomb. Then he let me go for the warning. We was on our way. 45 in a 50 till I hit the highway. Been about it. Glory to the father. I don't do the drama. I, I went vegan for the freaky. Now I'm back to beef and broccoli. Sip it sake. Practice body sabi. I don't need a body. My girl got that body yachty. When we walk inside the party, they like, OMG, oh, you know it's been a man. Tell me where you been, huh? Been about it. Hey. Back up off me, man, it's getting crowded. Hey, hey when I'm in Cali, got it in and out of it. Oh, lot of goofies in the spot, so I'm dipping out of it. Adios. In the gym, getting violent. Mm. At the party, won't bother anybody. Always kept it solid. You know I always kept it solid. pleasure to celebrate Lunar New Year with you. I am Winnie Wu, and uh, we have Cindy, Julie, yeah. Sue, if you're out there. These are all of the people who helped out. Our fearless leader, Amber. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's Cindy. There's Cindy. Thank you all of you for celebrating with us. We thank the Montclair Art Museum for sharing this amazing space and are grateful for their partnership. We thank all the volunteers for all their time who's made this possible. We thank our families who have endured our long hours, missed meals, and missed bedtime stories. We thank them for that, too. Um, and um, before we say goodbye, I'm going to share with you a Chinese greeting that we say during Lunar New Year. So when you say this greeting, you get a red envelope. All the young people, listen to this. And in this red envelope is usually a treat or money, but it's usually money, okay? <laughs> so what is this amazing greeting? So the first sentence is, Happy New Year. And that's Xing Nian Kuai Le. Say it with me, Xing Nian Kuai Le. And now the second sentence, this is the money maker, okay? The second sentence we translate to, 
we wish you prosperity. But if you are a Ronnie Chang fan, he straight up translates to, I hope you get rich, okay? So, the second moneymaker sentence is, Gong Xi Fa Tai. Say it with me. Gong Xi Fa Tai. Okay, one more time. Both sentences together. Xing Nian Kuai La. Gong Xi Fa Tai. Let's go. Excellent. You all get an A. Thank you very much. Happy Lunar New Year. Xing Nian Kuai La. Gong Xi Fa Tai. Sun Nian Fai La. Gong Hei Fa Tai. Man Si Yu Yi. Thank you very much.